Well, David, the outrage in Washington really boils down to this feeling that you can make a lot of money on Wall Street without having to play by the rules. So one way to address that is to just get better about enforcing the laws that are already on the books. Today, Democratic Congressman Ro Khanna is introducing the Stop Cheaters Act. It would give the IRS $100 billion over the next decade to go after big corporations and wealthy individuals. One study estimates that about 30 percent of uncollected tax revenue is due from just the top 1 percent of earners. So this new bill would require the IRS to audit half of individuals making more than $10 million, a third of those earning between 5 to $10 million, 20 percent of people earning between $1 to $5 million, and almost every single corporation with more than $20 billion in assets. In a statement, Kana said, Wall Street has been able to act like high-rolling gamblers with almost zero consequences for far too long. It's time every American pay their fair share. Now, this bill is based off of a recent proposal by Larry Summers and others that found just beefing up the IRS could turn up over a trillion dollars in lost tax revenue. So the bottom line here, guys, is that Washington is just woefully behind Wall Street. And the IRS has really not been equipped to handle the kinds of complex transactions that have underpinned both the big gains and the big losses that we've seen around GameStop. Back to you. Elon, I, maybe not to be too cynical, but I remember uh, Secretary Mnuchin's confirmation hearing a few years ago where a big part of the discussion was addressing the tax gap and trying to improve IRS efficiency, just like you're describing. Is this sort of just a political cycle at play or are they somehow serious this time? Yeah, so one thing that we're seeing is that there is bipartisan support around providing more funding for the IRS. I believe that in the last round of government spending, uh, the government spending negotiations, they did receive more money. It's just they would need a lot more money in order to go after some of the most sophisticated players, both in terms of enforcement staff and also in terms of upgrading their technology. What makes this bill sort of unique and this proposal unique is that it doesn't just give the IRS more money, it also puts some strings attached to those those dollars so that they would have to use the money to go after uh, the big players. So that what's, that's what makes this different. And we'll see whether or not this GameStop mania um, does provide some of that momentum to get this one over the finish line. Mm, that's great context. Uh, Elon Moy, uh, thank you so much for that. We'll watch it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.